Hey guys, and welcome to an episode of Found Footage, your show where we look at random horror games from across the internet and see what spooky, dooky, and kooky stuff we can find. Big shout out to our patrons for making this possible, especially to our Patreon, Savannah. Thank you so much, Savannah. You're super nomkin, you're beautiful, you're fantastic, and you make these videos super duper nom. Thank you so much. And a shout out to our producer, Alice, as well. Thank you, Alice, for the continued support. You are, as always, the greatest numkin ever. Anyway, the first of these games today, it's just me, by the way. Chrism isn't feeling too good, so it's just me. The new resident is the first one we're going to check out. Let's play. Do I have a mouse? Where's my mouse gone? Guys, I lost my mouse. There we go. I figured it out. I'm professional. I a year ago. And several disappearances have since followed. After a bit of digging, I discover they're all connected by one thing. Manicorp. Each missing person had a connection with an employee of the company. I tried to piece it all together, but there was something missing. That is, until I received an anonymous tip with an address. 666 Dyer Lane, location of the Manicorp warehouse outside of town. Something seemed off, but... I figured the lead was worth following. Oh wow, this has got like a like a pixelated style. All right, so we're investigating Manicorp, who rather unoriginally seem to be working on mannequins. I wonder where they got their company name idea from. I hate mannequins. What's we we, we gonna do? Huh? Come to life and kill me? Huh? Huh? Didn't think so. Alright guys, I'm just gonna go up over here and read this uh, conspicuous bit of evidence on the table. Holy shit. This is everyone who's been missing. I need to leave. Now. Um, here is a list of this month's new residents. Make sure you lock up this time. I trust the converse conversion process went well, but we don't want another escaping. Be sure to watch your back when you leave. Don't forget about last week's incident. Oh shit. So they've all been turned into... Mannequins. That means everyone here used to flash. What? Oh shit. Ah. Oh. I guess I became a mannequin. I didn't know that was going to be a thing. God damn it! I didn't know! Oh shit, we actually get made into one. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's really fucking morbid. Alright, anyway, let's try that again. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get out of this situation, but um, we'll, we'll see. It kind of threw the camera thing on me a bit, if I'm honest with you. Like, I'm not really sure what I meant to do. Holy shit. This is That's fine. Fuck off. I need to leave now. <laughs> God damn, this is impossible. It's physically impossible to leave the fucking room without being gangbanged by a large group of mannequins, it seems. All right, last fucking try at this shit. Uh, this is... Okay, I'm giving up. I am destined to be a mannequin forever. I'm afraid I'm going to have to give this one a bum because this, this is awful. I hate it. <laughs> this is just frustrating. I like the idea of people being turned into mannequins, but unfortunately, I can't really say more than that because I'm just going to get fucking grabbed and gangbanged every few steps I take, apparently. From every single fucking angle. Oh god. Terribly implemented. Um, sort of like actual gameplay side of things. But anyway. Let's move on to a game. And hopefully a better one. Next video. Alright guys. This game here is called There Are Ghosts in the Stalls. And 
I'm sure a lot of you know this by now, but I am a huge fan of going to the toilet. So, um, we have very limited maneuverability here. Oh, shit. Okay. What happens if I just leave? There was a leave. Why can't I leave? There was a... Um, why is there a candle here? Hello? This needs to go up. This needs to be, like, a million times higher than it is. Creepy noises, sure, but other than that... Can I do so Do I have to find these? Oh, I do! Fuck! Fuck me! Okay, there's an actual objective. Okay. That's alright. I'm alright with finding objectives. Objectives are fine. Now the question is... Stop turning the fucking sink on! Where the fuck are the other symbols? Okay, so you can place this on there. But I've still got to find the others. There, oh, there it is. Okay, not too bad. Not too shabby. Alright. Just got to find the next one. Whoa! Anyone here? Oh, okay! I don't like that. There was a little numkin there. Maybe not a numkin, actually. Maybe actually just a bumpkin. But, still. There it is. Come on. No! Thank you. Fucking stupid vent. Really wish the mouse controls were better on this, but other than that, so far so good. Hello? I'm having a poop. There it is. Okay. Having a poop. What does that mean? What did I do? Brain V3. The square root of hammer and sickle? I understand. No. Oh, what the fuck? This was not here before. Okay. I got a cross. Um. Ah! Fuck me! Fucking shit. Shit dicks. That was very good, Alicia. I very much enjoyed that. Um, wish the mouse control was a little bit better, but other than that, a, a great little horror narrative experience. Really creeped me out. Really nice. Really well done. Molto bene. Molto bene. I liked it a lot. Whew. That genuinely shook me up. <laughs> it's always nice when a scare actually gets you. I'm going to give this one a nom because it was nom. Um, and I'm very much a fan of like these little, just little horror experiences. Horror doesn't need to be a sweeping story. In fact, I think it fails more when it is. So this was good. This was good. Much better than the first. Anyway, next game. All right, guys, we have some Junji Ito inspired horror next. This is Falling Between. Let's play. All right. It's Unreal, so it's already got a much nicer feel to it in terms of control than previously. Vote Shizumi for class president. Why, am I Why is my character lurching? Talent show, August 29th at Kashima Gym. The honors list. Why is there a snail on the honors list? I don't get it. Oh, because snail girl, Junji Ito. Okay. I guess that answers that question. Or is, it sl is she a slug girl or a snail girl in the, in the Junji Ito uh, manga? I can't remember. I know it's really fucked up, though. I'd like to see more Junji Ito-inspired stuff. Big fan. Big fan. Alright. 
So we're just having a nice day at school. I'm guessing this is a school. It definitely is a school. Oh, I guess... <laughs> That's another Junji Ito reference there, Miss Tomi. Oh, she's the, she's the tutor for all these classes? Unless that's the same class twice. No. Okay, Mr. Romino. Uh, that probably is a reference I don't get, but I do get the Tomi reference. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Alright. I mean, this looks like it's probably the classroom. Mr. Suichi. Got a Junji Ito book here as well. You are free to choose, but you're not free from the consequence of your choice. Huh. Forgive me for looking around, but I'm curious. I like the CRT TV as well. Back in my day, all TVs looked like that. All right. I'm sure most of you have used the CRT TV still. What the fuck? Did I fall asleep at my desk? This is terrible. Well, I'm fucked, aren't I? Let's be honest. Something terrible is going to be out here. Hello? Who's been littering in the halls? That's what I want to know. So irresponsible. As your class representative, maybe. I don't think this is an appropriate thing to be doing. And I'm very, very upset by the whole thing that is going on right now. Uh, excuse me? Guess I needed a hand. Oh, I'm really glad it's not quite over yet. Like, I know this is a short one, but if that had been it, that would have sucked. I guess we've gone through a portal into some other dimension. Some other... Hi, guys. How's it going? Are you making s'mores? Huh? I, I didn't really want to... Oh, hi. It's the moon from Ocarina of Time on a bad day. Oh, not Ocarina of Time. Majora's Mask. What the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with me? We just got killed by a deep impact of the moon, colliding with us and wiping out the lovely s'more makers at the same time. I am deeply saddened by that. I wish it was a bit more to it. Like, I, I guess because it has... It, this was designed for, like, a two-minute horror experience. So, um, I understand why it's not, like, super fleshed out. But I'm going to give it an eh, just because I thought the um, other two-minute game we played just then, the... Um, what the fuck was it called? The stalls. The shit. The, the one in the pooper did a better experience of putting this together. As these games are so short, we're going to do one more in this video. So let's uh, go and check that out, shall we? A lot of you know that I do play cooking games occasionally. Um, I have even streamed them from time to time. So we're going to play Candy Pink, which is a, a lovely cooking game. Congratulations on your promotion to the sweet little production floor. Oh, thanks. I'm Almond, and I am going to be your supervisor. I'm so excited to get you up to speed on your first day. Today, you'll be making our most popular product, pink heart marshmallows. Oh my god, kind of like s'mores. I know this is your first time, so I'll walk you step by step through the candy making process. Remember, this is the top secret recipe. Make sure not to tell anyone about it. Ready? Let's get started. First, add sugar, corn syrup, and water to the pot. Right, here's the sugar. Boom. Bag and all. Bottle and all of the corn syrup and the water. Great job. Now turn on the heat and wait for it to boil. Got it. Oh, it even has like a little indicator. That's so adorable. I don't like the fact we're just a severed arm, by the way. It's time to add everything to the mixer. Now, add the gelatin. This will make the marshmallows stable and super fluffy. Look at the adorable little heart little container as well. Very nice. Turn on the mixer so everything combines. Now, cut off your... F Wait, what? What's the look for? I told you to cut off your finger. Oh, we can cut off our finger or refuse. Fuck off. Oh, sh I, okay. I, <laughs> I didn't quite mean to do that, but I'll take it. Why? Why would you? Why would you do this? 
You were supposed to follow the directions. I thought you were a good employee. I thought you loved working here. I... Thank you for playing. That was very adorable. Let's do that again and pick the other option. Alright, I guess now we're going to cut off our finger, guys, alright? Add it to the mixture! Mix everything again so it's nicely combined. Look at our hand, we're just like freaking out from blood loss. You're almost done! Now add the mixture to the tray. Sure. Put the tray in the cooler so the marshmallow sets. Doing a remarkable job of handling this, if I'm honest, if I get, can I say so myself? <laughs> yeah, you made it to the final step, cutting the marshmallows into hearts. Congratulations, you just made your first batch of pink heart marshmallows. Um, you look a little unwell? Hey, why don't you take the rest of the day off? Don't worry, we can start again tomorrow. After all, you've still got plenty more fingers to get through. What the fuck? I think I'm more inclined to stab her, actually, next time. Anyway, that was Candy Pink. I will give it a nom because it's a nice, creative little idea. And I like the fact it had the two little endings there. Anyway, thank you for watching this installment of Found Footage. If you enjoy what you see, consider pledging to our Patreon. Um, we're very close to our Cat Lady goal. Consider pledging. It would help us out a ton and unlock a special retrospective playthrough of the Cat Lady with me and Crescent. Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Slap a like if you did. Comment if you can. We love ya. We appreciate you. You're all numpkins. See you soon for more spooky stuff here on The Crink Show. Bye.